So today, I'm helping set the bar. We're here at Drink Warehouse UK. I'm here with Matt and also our partners, Whitley Neal. And you're going to show me a raspberry crush today, Very right? Good. Okay, perfect. What have we got? Where do we start? So this drink can be as simple or as complicated as you want. We can go in with a shaker, we can crush some raspberries in it, yeah. or what I'm going to show you today is a much more easy approach that we can get into any bar or any home bartender. Yeah. What you want to do is start with a fantastic backbone of the raspberry gin. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, I'm making these. You've got this, you've got so, this. The way I tend to go, two fingers round the jigger. Yeah. You've got a 25 mil and you've got a 50 mil. So if you use your back finger to balance, and you just get a bit of, bit of actuation there. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. It oh. doesn't work as long as the liquid's okay, getting Okay, we're in going there. for 50? Yes, please. Okay, 50 in. This is a good healthy measure. This is what I like to see. Good work. Nicely okay. done. Okay, starting off. And, and again, you can make this as easy or as, uh, or as complicated as you want. Um, the uh, spec recipe is actually made with uh, blackcurrant cordial. Mm -hmm. I find Cross It um, has a uh, blackcurrant macerated non-alcoholic spirit. Okay, yeah. It can be used in the same way as gin or, or, or anything else. Um, it comes through a little bit richer, so you yep. can use just a dash on there. Okay, so okay. nice and strong there. Okay, so we're going for a... Just a touch, just a, a touch. touch in there. Okay, let's see what my measure point is. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Right, so that's our start. We've got a good base there. What next? And it's just super easy now. What you want to do is measure up 125 mil. So it's two of the big ones, one of the small. Yep. Okay, so we pour these in. And while we're doing this, tell me a little bit more about the Whitley Neal, this particular product, the raspberry. So the raspberry, um, actually, as you note on the front, the front of the bottle, just this tag just here, it says inspired by Scotland. Yep. And you, you'll see on all of the Whitney Neal uh, bottles, they've got a tag noting to which country it was inspired by. Okay. So the, the blood orange is, uh, for instance, from Sicily. Yeah. Uh, I believe the quince might be from Turkey, don't quote me on that. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a nice insight into where they just have gone to try and pull together the flavours. Mm. And if you've tried any of the Scottish raspberries, they have full of pack full of flavour. Nice. So these guys have done really well to, to sort some of those raspberries into the spirit and, and build a flavour around that. Very nice. Yeah, so really kind of a global range of flavours amongst their, well, huge range. We've just got a few here today, but I know they've got loads. So Absolutely. coming from all around the world. And it's a Perfect. tough, tough and great to play with raspberry. Yeah. They've done really, really well. You know, it can get very tart very quickly, a little bit bitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to pass you this because we don't yep. want that nice to dilute. And just remember when you're stirring, yep. you want to go against the glass. Okay. Don't fight the ice. Just yep. roll that spoon. So what I tend to do is I, I go two fingers and then one finger around the other side and then just use your wrist. Okay, yeah. And the back of the spoon is just going to stay on the edge of that glass. So all these kind of little arts in making cocktails, it's not just a case of putting it all together. There's subtle ways. And how does this make a difference in stirring it gently like I am here, help with the flavours and the, and the kind of cocktail and the essence of it? So what you're doing here is, is, is managing the most important resource on the bar, and that is ice. Okay. Ice controls the, uh, the viscosity, it mixes the flavour, and most important, the, the, the dilution of the drink. Yeah. So the difference between uh, using uh, a, a, a spoon to stir down or to, to shake, that's probably going to be about perfect there, okay. um, or to shake it down, is really comes down to viscosity. The reason why we stir is because the viscosities of these liquids are pretty similar. Mm -hmm. They can combine really nice and easily. The water comes down as you stir the ice, obviously the ice uh, melts down, the water combines it, all, all homogenizes into that kind of nice, uh, consistent uh, viscosity. Yeah. Whereas when you're shaking, it's when you've got something like citrus or milk or cream, something that's vastly different to yeah. your base spirit. Okay. And you need to do a lot more to agitate that and then use that that, uh, that ice and that water to, to combine it and dilute it. Yeah. So this slower, slower, you have more control over your dilution and you can make sure, that's why we want you to stop it, allow that to then sit at the perfect flavour okay. and just bring on two water. Yeah. That's interesting to hear that the water, the ice is a real key part of the ingredient more than just cooling it down but really helps with it okay brilliant are we ready to Absolutely. have the all-important taste test okay let's give this a go mmm that's good because there's you know I was expecting lots of raspberry but actually there's other elements and I think the cranberry without you know cranberry can be sometimes quite harsh but it kind of balances the two doesn't it is that kind of how you'd you know as the expert more accurately described the combination of flavors I'm completely with you yeah. I, I think uh, Whitney Neal does such an exceptional job 
bringing raspberry through uh, that gin flavour when gin can already be naturally quite bitter. Mm -hmm. um, and I think cranberry was such a smart choice because it dries up the palate slightly, yeah. allows all that raspberry to come through and allows the gin to do all the work. Yeah, really great. So that is our raspberry crush. Matt, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.